I'm gonna take this puppy out. Oh yeah. I can tell already it's pretty light. What else is in the box? Smaller box here. Box is empty, putting it aside. So, what's in here? It's the power adapter and the cable. Alright, cool. Wow, this is pretty small, which is cool. Uh, it's light and you can stick this in your bag pretty easily. Normal ones I've had in the past were like about this big and this wide, so I'm really happy about that. Good job, HP. And there we go. Long cord, no problem. Oh, this is new. 90 degree uh, power connector here. That might be helpful if the connector is on the side. Uh, most of the HPs I've had are the straight connector, so I find this interesting. Uh, see how it fits. Okay, set this stuff aside. All right, to the good stuff. Uh, pretty good with the packaging. Got a plastic here. All right. All right, here we go. A little protective sheet. All right, so this is new. It says HP SureView Integrated Privacy Screen. So if you hit function F2, apparently it changes the mode so that people can't view your screen from an angle. I gotta try that out. This is something totally new. Cool. I'll remove that. All right, I'm just gonna bring this laptop closer to you guys. You can see here. So it's got the Bang and Olufsen speakers, so it's going to get some good sound hopefully. I hear they're pretty good. And check this out, they include the NFC. How cool is that? So let's see if I'm able to use some of the NFC functions of this laptop. That's really cool they included that. HP has done a good job at adding new technology. So, so this trackpad seems pretty good, seems like glass. The buttons are nice and soft. And they still include this uh, track point mouse uh, and the buttons up here. So compared to generation two, they kept some of the same stuff. Fingerprint reader, I hope it's as good as the G2. G2 was pretty good. I see they kept the power button here and then the on off switch for Wi-Fi and the uh, speaker muting. Okay, let's take a closer look. So I see they went with a different look. This is nice and uh, silver. The G2 previous uh, model was black. It had a kind of like a rubberized uh, feeling. This is, they went a different direction this time with the G3. All right, so let's look at the back here. And yeah, it's got a vent in the bottom here. It's got the feet, it's pretty nice. And it, the back feet are a little bit elevated, so your laptop is kind of elevated a little bit. That's good for uh, keyboard typing, which is good. Now, I'm kind of disappointed that I don't see an easy release here to remove this cover, which is one thing I really liked about the G2 model of the EliteBook 840. So it looks like they've gone away from that. And in order to open this, you're probably going to have to take these little rubber things out and acts as the screws there so not a good move uh, HP I don't know why you guys did that but it's gonna be hard to service this thing but maybe that's what they they want they don't want you to service it okay quickly let's take a look at the ports available Kensington lock cool VGA it's always good to have right for business laptop super speed USB uh, how come there's only one hmm I wish there was one more smart cart reader uh, which I don't really use, but what I wish we would have put one more USB port there. Whoa, I almost lost it there. So right here we have the indicators for the Wi-Fi, power, and then whether it's charging, and then the hard drive activity. All right, on this side we have a USB-C port. We have display port. For video out 
we have a connector for mic or headset so it, it does both uh, works as a mic or as a head as a headphones another super speed USB 3.0 port I wish there was more ports there's only two but I guess they give you this one USB-C I hope it's worth it I don't have too many devices that use this but nice of HP to include it and this little trap jaw Ethernet connector which work great right on the G2 is b back on this thing this is the dock connector and here you can even put a SIM card which is kind of cool I don't remember seeing that on the G2 so one thing that I do see that's gone is the optional battery connector the G2 used to have one I guess they decided uh, not to put one on the G3 and let's not forget right here it's hard to miss is the SD card slot so you could use your SD card here so pretty cool some improvements you know they added NFC they added this uh, USB-C port they kept this cool Ethernet connection they added a SIM card and let's see how this right angled connector works I hope it goes like all the way in okay that works pretty cool so if you use your laptop with the power on the right that's gonna work out really well but even if you don't you can kinda do this so I think I'm gonna like this better than the previous one that goes uh, kind of like this just a you know straight to uh, the 90 degrees uh, I think I'm digging it so yeah let's see how that works out so very sleek uh, it's actually lighter than the G2 and I'll see if I can grab my G2 and compare it to this but let's keep going for a bit so keyboard soft but not that soft seems like pretty comfortable full-size keyboard okay so I'm gonna turn it on in a bit and kind of just look at the you know the screen how good it is so of course the battery was totally drained uh, didn't have enough battery to uh, start it up so I connected the power and I'm gonna go ahead and start it up nice illuminated key we see Windows 10 loading here wow pretty quick alright so here's the laptop turn on the screen looks pretty good if you're looking at it straight on now if you're looking at it from a 45 degree angle like say someone that's sitting next to you it still looks pretty good it starts getting a little dark if you're more than 45 degrees 60 or more uh, then it does get kind of dark and you can't see it too well as far as a top to bottom view it looks pretty good but there's definitely a sweet spot and I would say that the screen is definitely better than the uh, G2 version of this laptop okay I gotta give this a try this HP SureView integrated privacy screen so by just hitting function F2 it's supposed to kinda like set up the screen so no one can look at you over your shoulder and see what you're doing let's give it a try function F2 okay if you're looking at it straight on you can still see it right oh okay it's hard to see so even if you're at 45 degree it looks dim let's give it a try this way whoa there it goes turned off okay let's try this one more time I accidentally disconnected the power so here we go from the right side yeah it definitely kinda works 